Hi, it's time for Brain Shorts. And one of the things I'm watching very closely in the construction of our home is protecting this amazing majestic oak tree up here behind me. And to do that, we started out by having an arborist come out to make sure the tree was healthy. And my friend Chris Barneycastle helped with that. The main way that we're protecting the tree is by staying out of its critical root zone. And that's basically the area underneath its drip line. Now, we are having to go into that about 15%, and that's within the realm of what's acceptable to maintain the health of the tree. As you can see here behind me, a couple of larger roots were exposed when the bulldozer was digging out the foundation. And we expected that a little bit, and frankly, I was thankful to not see more roots like this. So I talked to Chris and asked him what I could do to make sure that these roots were pruned so that they're protected and he gave me a couple simple steps. I'm gonna use a, a little garden trowel and dig back along the roots about a foot and a half or two feet back from where they're exposed. And then I'm gonna lop them off to provide a clean cut. I trace both roots back to a single location. So I'm gonna see if I can get underneath right here and then cut it off in one spot. You better have one opening versus two. Ooh. Trail's a little. Trail's a little beat up. Although, I only have my loppers with me. I'm gonna make sure I can get around this. I don't have a saw, which might have been a better option. Should be able to get around there. Let's just confirm it's one. So I've got a clear path underneath this. Now let's lop it off. There was already a scar here from where it, it had been exposed at the surface. So I'm gonna cut back beyond that to go ahead and to get rid of this open area here that'll help protect it. Probably even more so than it was before this foundation was dug. It's pretty heavy duty. It's about the maximum for these loppers. It's important to do this in one cut. So I lost this much root and whatever was beyond it this way, but it had this exposed area that's already starting to rot a little bit and it had this exposed area so I think the end result here is going to be a more healthy root section here. Now I'm going to bury it. Once I've got a soil layer back on top I can put the mulch back. Alright there we go. Alright so this root is pruned with a clean cut protected with soil and then covered with a layer of wood chips to keep the moisture in and keep the workmen feet from stepping on it. And that'll help ensure that this tree stays healthy during this construction project. Protecting tree roots. That's one thing that makes a green home green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.